But Marcellus, are the Heat a tough challenge, a tough matchup for the Lakers? Hell yeah, they're a tough matchup. Um, <laughs> I mean, this is going to be a good fight. You're talking about the dog in them, man. Jimmy Butler obviously leads that in terms of his mentality and how that translates on the court and the chemistry that they have. I like this team because they're a 3 and D team. We've all heard that cliche about some teams. Can you shoot the three and can you defend? Yes and yes. And they also have a team of players that that fit the new NBA in terms of wing protectors and wing players, you know, in that 6'5", that 6'8", range that can switch off or stay on you. And it's like almost the Lakers are sitting there like, who is our big three? We know we got AD, we know we got LeBron. It was supposed to be Kuzma, it turned into Rondo, and then it turned into KCP, and it just turned into a bunch of guys in this carousel. Well, it looks like the Heat were able to just say, we're going to make gremlins of Kyle Kuzma what he's supposed to be in terms of what their production is. So I want to give you guys full screen, King. Look at this production, which is the only third time in any playoff si series in history that mm -hmm. four players have averaged 19 points or more. So they are coming in all directions, shooting the ball and having the ability to defend. So the Lakers... If they sleep on these boys, they might get knocked out. Yeah, it'll be a mm. tough fight, Marcellus, if, or an entertaining fight if you consider second-round knockouts entertaining because the Lakers knocking <laughs> the points out in their worst five or six. Here's what it is, Marcellus. Remember what? What? Jimmy Butler, game one against the Bucks. He had 40 points. It was like, oh, my God, Jimmy Butler. He did that. Tyler Hero dropped 37. Oh, my God, Tyler Hero. LeBron game five against the Nuggets dropped 38, 16, and 13. And I think it was just another Saturday. He was like, hey, what are y'all having for dinner? Oh, okay, no. It was all my kings. <laughs> oh, okay, you want to have the Brussels sprouts, please? We don't care. When LeBron does what they do, it's historic. When LeBron does it, it's just another walk in the park, Marcel. Let's keep it real. The Heat. Yes, they're scrappy. The Heat, they got them goons. Congratulations. I'm glad you got them goons. It's going to take more than that. The Heat have a great team, have a great coach, have an underdog mindset. But at the end of the day, it's small mm -hmm. things to a giant. And LeBron James, AD, they're the giant. But really, let's talk a little statistics before I'm done with this first lap. It's very simple. Mm -hmm. LeBron is 26-2 and two when he wins game ones in playoff series, 26-2 and two all time. 23-0 and 0 when winning game one and game two. What it means is this. If the Heat don't win tonight, they have mm -hmm. no <clears throat> chance. If the Heat don't win the first two games, they literally, it's not even like, so you're saying there's a chance. No, I'm saying there's you no said chance. Two. Absolutely no you chance. You said two. If they, if they, <laughs> they could be three. No, 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 no. You but said two. The other fact is very simple. LeBron ain't lost a game seven since 08. So you they have to win. In, go seven. So you have to win in six if you the Heat. <laughs> so you think the Heat finna beat them four times in six games? You making uh, these arguments, not me. Talk, Get talk him, Jimmy. crazy. Talk, talk regular to me. Get him, Jimmy. Hey, hey, man, listen, man. I just, it, the two of you need counseling, marriage counseling. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I, I've been watching you all day going back and forth. And it, you, you two are comedy. But listen, you both got a point, though. Here's the thing. The challenge for this Laker team against the Heat team is that you could identify against Portland, Lillard, and McCollum, okay? Mm. That's what we need to shut down. When you're playing against a Houston team as Westbrook and Hart. And, and also, when you're talking about Denver, okay, Jokic and also Murray. But with the Heat, mm. you saw the numbers in the Boston series. That's four players above 19 points, okay? Jimmy Butler against the Celtics in their four wins didn't lead them in scoring. So it's not like you're trying to cut the head off of one guy. Yeah, you mm. probably want to take some things away from Jimmy, but the thing about that makes this Heat team so tough to guard, not only do you have shooters and multiple guys that can put it in the hoop, but their baskets to assist are extremely high, which means they move extremely well. L.A. has problems a lot of times keeping guys in front of them. OK, yep. L.A. has issues yeah, at times yeah. when they have a big lead, they give it up. Now, am I saying L.A. is going to lose a series? No, I'm not. Is the challenge going to be there? Yes, because one, Miami doesn't turn the basketball over Two, Miami shoots about 82, 83 percent from the free throw line. So they make you pay in other ways. This is going to be a totally different kind of series than probably what we probably wanted to see with maybe a Milwaukee who has a star player. But this Miami team is going to pose a different kind of threat, bam. Hey, what happens if he gets AD in foul trouble by mm. having to guard him off that pick and pop? What? You know, so that's a whole different what? dynamic. Come now, on. Again, I still hey. think LA gets hey, the game. Hey, Jim, Hey, let's keep it real, bro. He leaned back let's on you, Jimmy. Here you go. 
I gave you reasons why it's going to be a change. Here's my thing, bro. You came in here with the whole dissertation. Now, honestly, you can submit right. this and get a doctorate for why they <laughs> got to give you a chance. All I got to give you is two names, LeBron and AD. They have no chance. LeBron and AD well, no, combined no, for no, 60. No, no, no. They're said, what, 15 no, or 16 and one? Challenge. Are they going to be a challenge? Oh. Not, not that with Tough matchup. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, see, I Joe, stop I trying, trying to make you fix Marcellus. To mean? find a tough matchup. Is a 4 0 sweep tough? Like, is, is a 4 0 is a 4 0 Oh, yeah, you're going on record tough? saying this is 4 0. No, no, I'm saying, I'm saying. What then, why are you bringing I'm it up, Mr. I don't like it. Ocho, you saying it's 4 0? 4 1, 4 1, 4 1, 4 1. Y'all chill out, y'all chill out, y'all chill out. I can't go there either. I can go 4 2. I like what you said, 4 2, I would say Lakers should win, which is interesting because <laughs> just in PER, one advanced that. A lot of people love it, some people don't. Whatever. You know who the top three PERs in, in NBA history are? This is why the Lakers should what be like, yo, we what? about to Jimmy smoke Butler, them. Butler. Nope. Donis Haslam. See how Andre you see how you, we, you know what? We do uh, need counseling, and I don't need to go. He need to go by his damn self because well, he is so Gordon negative Dragic. and defensive. Actually, it's Michael, Tyler Hero. It's Michael Jordan, Goodness LeBron James. And Anthony Davis, what the hell? Hey, so, they, they, uh, thank you. See, he's so defensive. Man, I, I get this at home, and I come to work and get this. It's the same response. Oh, wait, so, did you guys watch a debate last night? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Huh? Okay, it was something in there we got to let each other talk and get their points across. Right now, I, I, got, I have to be the moderator between y'all two to let each other what get some Chris points. Chris Wallace? <laughs> Take it away from everything. There you go. Go, hey, go ahead, Marcella. All I'm saying is the Lakers should win this series. But the problem is the point of attack. As Jimmy said, there are just so many coming at you, and you can't just devote all your resources in one direction like they have been able to so far in the playoffs. And I'm going to say that the Heat are well coached, if not better coached. I'm going to say that they have better depth um, because they're going to put the Lakers in lineups where, hey, your seven-footers, hey, we might be back to when you played against Houston in that series where the seven-footers might have to sit down for a time or two. So this is a matchup situation, not necessarily talent to talent, but how are you going to orchestrate with what you have? And the Heat have more guys that can fill up the stat sheet and put it in a bucket than just the dynamic duo of LeBron and AD. Mm -hmm. It's not just about quantity, gentlemen. It is about quality. <laughs> you all are giving me quantity, and I will right. simply give you quality. LeBron and AD, mm -hmm. they've combined for 55-plus points the last four games. When they combine for over 55, the record is 27-5. and Five? five? Okay, 27 good. 27-5. Five? five? It's, oh, okay, It's good. very simple, Marcellus. <laughs> they got a chance. It's a Tesla to a skateboard. It's, it's, it's mm. a Bentley to a RAV4. It's hiccups to stage four. It's not a conversation, <laughs> and it's not a competition. Lakers well, in five. It's not going to be tough. Well,